Hi there, it's Sandy Alnock with a Bible journaling video today all about starfish. It's a holiday weekend in my country, so I kind of have beach on the brain, even though I can't get to the beach. But I'm going to be doing my demo in my Bible journaling made simple workbook. So this is on Bible-like paper. And while I had it open, I thought I'd flip through some of the lessons from the watercolor animals class. So if you like to watercolor animals, you'll learn 10 different ones in that class. So for the starfish, and you can do this with all different kinds of animals too. I drew the sunglasses first and then almost made little curves on both sides of the sunglasses so I could make my star come out a little evenly from the, the glasses themselves. I made the point on the top of the starfish and then each one of these lines is going to continue down to create the next part of the star. And starfish are a little on the lumpy side. Sometimes they have long spindly sort of arms on them. They're not always, you know, just perfectly star shaped. And depending on whether they're standing up like they were in my Bible journaling page or laying down, there could be all sorts of different things happening. Like if you were making him stand up, then you could draw the sand and just erase the feet off the bottom, or I guess you would call it the feet. I'm pretty sure they don't have feet. But in this particular case, what if I decided I wanted to have some more sand in front of a different portion of the starfish? You could cover up all sorts of different parts and just erase the lines that are underneath of them. So the painting here is pretty easy. Uh, the technique used here is different than the one on my Bible journaling page, and it's actually easier. So that's why I figured I'd show you this because the one on my page, I ended up doing a lot more line work with the pen and here you don't have to do all that line work. So I'm going to start by painting a nice bold orangey red color and notice that I'm painting right through the glasses because when you're looking at somebody with glasses on, you can often see some of the color coming through. So that'll allow for some continuity here. And I, was sort of struggling. I didn't really figure out exactly where I wanted that sand to come across and ended up with a little spot that I'll repair later on, which gives me a chance to show you some watercolor repair. I used a darker color while everything was wet to drop in some more paint. And then I'm going to just let it dry by air. And that's going to give me all this texture where all of that paint sits into all these crevices. Once it's dry, you can put a piece of paper over the top and iron it. And I thought I'd show you what happens if you don't do that. You get splooging because the paint was here in big droplets, big puddles. The baby wipe can get off some of that and you can definitely repair some. However, since we're going to be painting sand on this anyway, it's going to cover up all that. I'm just going to mix a sand color and paint it around the page you can see the corner of to the right hand side, that is a turtle page. And in that I showed you how to paint water. So I'm not going to show you how to paint the water in the sand at this point. I'll just refer you to that video so you can see more of it. And I'll just leave this as a pile of sand that the starfish is sitting on top of and tucked part way into and let all that dry, iron it so it's nice and flat. And then I'm going to work on the glasses. And I'm using some black paint and I'm using it kind of watered down so that I end up still seeing some of the orange color through the black. And that's going to make it feel a little bit more transparent. And if it's somewhat transparent, if it's not super thick, like you know, acrylic paint would be, then you can actually draw little half circles for eyes in there. So like the eyes are closed, that kind of thing. After that was dry and ironed, then I could go in with a pen and start to make the outlines of the glasses themselves. I chose in this particular case to make them like John Lennon type of glasses. You could make them Ray-Bans, any kind of shape that you want to create your, your glasses. But see this little happy eyes, little happy mouth to create a very happy starfish whose life is brighter because of the Lord. And that is kind of me. I feel like sometimes I need to remind myself that my life and my future are bright because of my relationship with Jesus. And even when things look crazy, they look bad, they look wonky, I can count on him anyway. And I know my future is bright, even if 
things are a little haywire. So I got to keep my, my mental sunglasses out and raise my own spirits sometimes. So made a few dots for the sand. And here's the little repair place that I was talking about. That little almost armpit that he had that I painted the orange color into. Could easily just put some water over it, lift that up. Bible paper lifts very nicely. You can lift color off with a lot of different mediums. And then I'm going to darken the sand around it too, because if the color doesn't lift entirely, you might want to add a little bit more to it and disguise the fact that there was some paint splooging going on. But this is just in my practice workbook, so not too stressed out about it. Then I'm going to use some white. This is a Uniball Signo white pen and create a few highlights on the glasses just so there's a couple of sparkles. And I'm going to add a star for a sparkle that's coming from the sun and shining on the glasses in the shape of a cross. But it's not just a straight cross. It's a diamond in the middle so that you get a little thicker color in the center. And then it gets thinner as the arms of that star go outward. And then I'll do some real simple journaling around this. I handled it slightly differently in my Bible. So you can see there's all, all kinds of hand-drawn in texture on my Bible, which is a little more complex to do than just letting that paper texture do its thing. And then I added some water behind it that you can see in the turtle video that will be linked down below this one and here on the end of the screen as well. And that is it for me today. I will see you again next week. Take care. Bye-bye.